Hey guys, how are we doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our major markets update. Um, so we will go straight over to those charts. Um, right, S and P first as usual. Um, daily time frame. You can see we're having a bit of a sell off on the daily here, um, but we're still fully within this um, this sort of pennant that we've got um, pennant formation we've got drawn on. Obviously, it's not drawn from a from a daily time frame. Otherwise, this uh, this um, um, this bottom side would be a bit <laughs> be a bit further up, um, but yeah, nothing TD wise on the daily. Um, you can see we are interacting with um, this horizontal that we've got drawn in. Um, this um, this uh, the seven the seven eight six, um, and then also well this pennant that we've got going, and we're staying in, in sort of inside this pennant. So nothing um, on the daily. Um, Twelve hour. Um, 12 hour you can see um, we I mean you can just see it more clearly um, the daily we sort of got this um, pennant formation um, currently looking to test the bottom side I mean if we get supported here there's not a lot of left a lot of room left to go in here and I would expect a, a move back up and a break of the 786 and a break to the upside obviously the flip side is that if we break down here uh, break these levels break this on the side of the pennant then yeah I'm expecting them well a move down to either this horizontal or the 618 and similar to how we had before and then we'll have to decide um, how the market's going to operate going forwards um, <clears throat> so yeah you can see we had a nice four hour nine uh, just brilliant sell off on this four hour nine just a great trade um yeah but again we so we're coming into a lot of support around this zone so um this is a potential um definite take profit zone at least if it's not um, a buy zone um but yeah so that's the s and p um let's have a look at nasdaq um nasdaq nasdaq obviously we know nasdaq is strong we'll look on the daily first um yeah i mean nasdaq sort of popped up above this um above this horizontal um if we want to um, just trade out this range a little bit, a little bit, that that wouldn't be that wouldn't be the worst scenario for the Nasdaq. Obviously, it's had a had a good run, a bit of consolidation at these highs, and um, before popping off again is um, <coughs> perfectly reasonable behaviour. Um, you can see where the moving averages are. Great posture of the moving averages, 200, uh, 50 and twenty one. Um, may, maybe we're going to get another test of the twenty one. Um, we haven't really been getting them quite that this quickly, but. Um, um, yeah, by all means, um, we could be testing the 21, or we just we're just basically um, sort of just testing testing below. Because obviously this is intraday, maybe we're just testing below here, and we'll get we'll regain this, and it'll just be a wick. Um, so yeah, nothing TD wise on there though. Um, 12 hour, we've got anything TD wise on the Nasdaq? No, we haven't. And four hour, we may have something on the four hour. Um, no, not not really anything TD wise on the four hour. Just that combo 13, but. Um, yeah, I mean, looking like we are, well, we're either going to get supported by this sort of horizontal range and move back up, or we potentially can get supported here. Uh, I'm not expecting a massive sell-off um, in stocks. I just think they're going to get propped up. We are very, very, very nicely following, um, holding holding this 21 um, period on the 4-hour. Let me just lock off these drawing tools. Um, very, very nicely holding this 21 on the 4-hour, you can see. Um, like almost perfectly and we held it really nicely down as well so that's a really good guide um yeah you can see popping below popping below i mean this is um <clears throat> these are sort of the um um what pivot uh, pivot traders um call the uh the trigger zone so basically between this um 21 and the 50 and so when the price sort of gets into this zone that's a potential buy zone um, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're quite far away from that in all fairness. So we have got um, potential to move down from where we are now and still look pretty bullish. Um, so yeah, that's the Nasdaq. Uh, Russell. Um, Russell on the 4-hour looks to me like we are losing this um, losing this um, trend line on the 4-hour. The Russell obviously is one of the weaker exchanges. Maybe the Russell is going to have to come down and test this horizontal. Um, nothing TD-wise though on the 4-hour. <coughs> we'll just have a look at the 12-hour on the daily. Um... Yeah, nothing, nothing TD wise, um, nothing TD wise on the daily either. Um, so yeah, it's just a case of we lost this trend line. It's it's still intraday. Um, we can obviously, I mean, clearly this obviously intraday was trading a lot lower, um, and this was trading here in today. So we are below it, but we can still we still got time to close this candle above. Um, and then if we do close above, we are sort of have a pennant here. Um, so if we do close back above, um, then maybe that will give us the impetus to um to rally rally on upwards and then just count this as another um another test of this trend line um uso 
oil um, looking a bit bearish today too no doubt having its um, effects on the stock market you can see this nice play nicely on the daily not traded above it not sorry not closed above it so no real buy entry we're just in the zone no real trade uh, close below here either so we've just got this little tight range in USO um, that we are currently operating in um, 12 hour nothing really TD wise the same nine on the 12 hour um, and the four hour um, I don't think we'll have much on the 4-hour. Uh, well, we do well. We did have a 4-hour 9. Um, yeah, we, we actually did close some candles above it, but weren't able to overcome that overhead resistance, and now we're trading lower. I mean, I guess we're just going to... Well, we stay in this range until we don't. Um, we've obviously lost that trend line. I think we're just going to put potentially some reaccumulation up here um, and then and then break on upwards. That's my that's my um, semi-fundamental um, view playing, playing there. Gold. Um, as you can see, broke out when it broke out. Our um, <coughs> let's go to the daily. When we broke out, our nice little pennant. We had um, a very nice little move up. Um, we had sort of these horizontal levels that are of importance, as you can see. And we broke above that. We sort of back tested that a little bit. And um, I'm expecting um, big, big things from this asset. Um, this is the recent high, um, 1788, which we are. Is that where we are now? Yeah, roughly where we are now. Um, so, I mean, by all means, consolidate at this high. If we do, then that's very bullish and we're likely going to push higher. Um, nothing really telling me that we need to test some downside unless we're going to find, unless we're going to stumble across a 12 hour or 4 hour TD, which we won't um, today. Uh, or we won't, yeah, we won't today, but in, in uh, well, in six hours, we'll be on a nine. But you guys do know that I like us to accelerate, and obviously, we do accelerate into nines, and that often provides a good selling opportunity, that acceleration into the nine. So, <clears throat> potentially um, a bit more strength here. I mean, by all means, we could reverse on this eight in anticipation of the nine. There could be some. There could be some bulls getting, getting cold feet, getting the, like getting cold feet at these nosebleed highs, um, and getting a bit like, oh, I've got to take my profits. Um, but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we've tested up here a few times. And we're now above it, and we basically back tested it, and we moved back up. So um, no necessarily real reason why. Um, they're not they can't be confident that we could break out of this um, sort of box now um, which we've been in for since April May June two months now so this this will um, trigger a substantial um, a substantial move this this will basically take us to all-time highs in gold um, if we confirm above here and trade upwards let's just have a quick look at what the all-time high is it's like 19 something isn't it um, let's just get back to back in the day where is it <laughs> here it is uh, yeah, roughly speaking, roughly speaking, it's um, <clears throat> low 1900s, low 1900s. So that's basically what I'd be targeting um, if we just com if we confirm and hold above here. I mean, yeah, obviously we want to we want to trade a bit higher, confirm, close some large time term time frames, and then then yeah, I mean all bets are off for the shorts. They've just got to um, they've just got uh, just got to go home basically because um, the bulls are just gonna <laughs> take that take that ball and run away with the market. Um, so yeah, this is looking this is looking bullish. This is um, I don't like this is just stagflation. I I believe this is just um, um, all assets are going up. All assets are going up. Um, obviously, stock markets you can see generally they're having a little bit of a retrace. Gold is going up. Um, silver not above eighteen hundred. We're gonna look at silver in a second anyway. Um, yeah, so this is um, this is looking good. Right um, now, speaking of silver, silver hasn't popped out its range yet. Silver is um, is a bit of a laggard. Um, <clears throat> silver is like the altcoins and Bitcoin. Silver is gold's altcoin. Um, also, it's not fully a well. It's it's an industrial metal as well. Um, that's a lot of its value. Not just um, gold, which isn't really used so much as an industrial metal. Obviously, it is to a, a smaller extent, but obviously, it's just it's too valuable. Um, but um, what we do have is this trend line, um, which we are testing. <clears throat> Got pretty substantially rejected from it, but we look like we're trading back up towards it. Um, this is obviously some four hour stuff we've got going on here. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, we've still got a, a horizontal top of our level here. Why? If gold breaks out, silver will break out. It'll get dragged up. Um, it'll get dragged up with it. A lot of the attention will first go to gold, and then once gold consolidates, silver will, silver will have its day and pump, much like we did when silver didn't do a lot down, um, down here. Um, when gold wasn't doing a lot, silver just thought, right, it's, it's my go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> 12 hour. Mm, yeah, 12 out 9 coming up, but um, with this a lot of weakness on this 8 candle, so this may be the move down. Sometimes they come before, sometimes you miss them, that's it. I mean, we, we had this trend line, 
that we came under back tested and then obviously rejected from i'm guessing four hour will paint this more clearly for us yeah i mean you guys you guys obviously watch my videos um will know that i often look for this the break the back test and then the dump or the or they break the back test and the rally just whichever whichever we're looking at but yeah so we saw we had this we broke below we had the nine broke below um and then yeah and it got rejected but great four hour nine sell there um took us down um but yeah is this 12 hour is this the move <clears throat> it's just the move down it's pretty bullish looking candle um so i expect with this with this sell off um if we get back above this level in gold uh silver which is well, let's just call it just call it 18 dollars even get back up with 18 dollars i think that is going to send silver off to the races especially if gold is um doing what gold's doing at the moment um so yeah gold silver ratio obviously this is going to be creeping up because obviously we know gold's doing better so yeah creeping up um <coughs> creeping up let's see where the 200 day is uh <laughs> below us <laughs> um yeah um yes yeah, so we regained 21 bounce off maybe we're i mean the 50 is not my favorite really to look at but maybe we're kind of bounce into the 50 um or maybe we're just gonna roll over from here um but um yeah i mean we've got a horizontal level here really we'll base it off this nine um yeah maybe that's a bit aggressive maybe uh not a bit aggressive maybe that's a bit conservative maybe we should be looking at around here yeah break above here then yeah maybe more comparative relative weakness um but i don't expect that i don't expect that just to be clear but um obviously if it happens it happens there but that's the level Break above here, um, yeah. I mean, at least the 50 day we've got to move, we've got to move for, but um, move to, but um, yeah. And obviously, a break below here again will take us down and then potentially down. Um, 12 hour, um, not a lot to look at on a 12 hour, uh, four hour, four hour. Um, did we have any nines here on the four hour? No, t price action is just so tight here. Not really getting even on the four hour, getting any counts. But a nice pop up here. Um, a nice, a nice um, sort of horizontal. You could have drawn that. We then basically broke above and accelerated to the upside. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, not going to look at US oil because we did US O. In fact, we'll just see if the charts want to look. Doesn't look any better for us. Um, yeah, four hour weakness on the four hour nine potential nine here. I mean, these nines are playing out well. Look, weakness, uh, basically weakness um yeah um for our but we want to look at the daily um god that's a wonky looking line on the daily um right yeah i mean <laughs> combo and sequential 13 um sent us down but yeah we basically tested highs tested highs and then came down i mean i would guess this is just going to come and test the 21 basically um before i mean this will be a but this is a buying opportunity i believe um i believe um we're going into a an inflationary environment a stagflationary environment and i believe oil will rally so i mean this move into the 21 <clears throat> i believe will be a a buy um and then we'll bounce off that come back up that's just what i think but um obviously it doesn't have to happen um really uh, realistically speaking um i'd probably draw a line across here take this out more downside um and i will remove this one now um take this remove that one now yeah take this level out i think we've got to see we'll accelerate to the downside um 12 hour four hour what we got yeah 12 hour nine towards the top of here but did kind of uh, well we didn't actually close any candles below it until what maybe now on this 12 hour if we do um so that could signal a move to the bottom of this trend um yeah potential um potential fire and i mean maybe oil could have a bit of a dump here to straight down to the bottom in the next eight hours and then be a bounce but it's a bit of an aggressive move <laughs> a little bit of an aggressive move it's only three dollars guys <laughs> uh, let's look at it in percentages just for just for just for bants uh yeah it's only nine percent guys um yeah so yeah maybe that is a little bit um asking for a lot um, but anyway, so let's have a look at our good friend Copper. Copper is also um, a buy. Maybe, maybe forming. Maybe we're going to form a nice ascending triangle and then a pop off. Um, we're clearly interrelating. Interrelating. We've, we've clearly got interplay with this um, trend line still. Um, so to be honest, I would expect a back test of this, um, <clears throat> a lower high. Sorry, a higher low, um, and then a pop. That's what I'm kind of expecting here. Maybe wrong, obviously. I may be wrong. I'll be wrong. My levels are my levels. I mean, I won't just, I won't just blindly trade for it now. Um, but yes, that's what I'm kind of looking at. I don't know why I clicked on the eight hour, but 
Maybe maybe there was a reason. Eight hour nine, bit of weakness, and then back up. I mean, this this should be going up basically. Fundamentally, this should be going up. Uh, come on, come on. <laughs> twelve hour, um, twelve hour, yeah, twelve hour nine, bit of weakness. But yeah, we we tempted to get back above. I mean, it's looking bullish. That, and let's have a look how our interplay went between the daily. We obviously got a twelve hour nine just there as well. Uh, and a daily nine, daily nine, twelve hour nine, obviously gave us this weakness. And now, yeah, I don't expect, just don't expect more upside really. Just looking for buys. If we get down to here, it's a buy. I, you, you, I was talking in my last video um, that I was looking for buys in oil. Uh, wheat, looking weak. Um, but buying opportunity. Buying opportunity, I think, um, it is a commodity. Um, daily, nothing really on the daily, though. We, I mean, to be honest, put my bias, bias, biases aside, this is um, a pretty bearish looking chart. We broke below. Back testing and potentially going to move down. That's what I would guess for wheat. Actually, um, looking at this, looking pretty weak, but um, doesn't have to happen. We could. This could just be a fake out below, and then we're going to come back up. So we'll just have to play this one by ear. <laughs> so um, yeah, no pun intended. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, nine here, nine there. So yeah, it makes sense. We're getting the little spike up there. Great trade, spike down there, nine there. Yeah, four hours are my favourite guys. I don't know if I mentioned this to you. Um, but they are. Um, this is oh, home. Just the next. One. I always think it's commodity, but we come into it. Home Depot. Um, it's just holding in there, really. Um, holding up there, holding up at highs, which is obviously inherently bullish. Um, nothing really TD wise since we nearly got the nine there. Um, yeah, let's have a look at smart sheet. How is this one doing? Um, daily nine on smart sheet. So. Yeah, we had to move down and relief rally. So um, yeah, we'll um, we'll put ourselves a nice little sell sell trade in here. <clears throat> Smart sheet potential move down. Um, we'll just do it all the way down there. I don't think we'll get held up by that on a daily nine. Um, see if we've got anything on the twelve hour. We we'll potentially have a yeah. We've got a twelve hour nine too. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> twelve hour nine daily nine. This is looking this is looking like a good sell, a good risk reward sell. You just you basically you got a tight stop. This is a good. This is a good trade, basically. Uh, good risk reward trade. I don't know whether it will win or lose as a trade, but it's a good risk reward trade. Um, yeah. So four hour. Um, I'd ignore the four hour there when you got twelve round daily. So you obviously look to the higher time frame that we've got nines on. Um, Slack. Uh, it's got a four hour nine. This looks very similar though. So I'm guessing this is going to have um, daily and twelve hour nines. Um, <clears throat> no, it isn't. I was wrong. Had them up here though, so fantastic move down. Yeah, not a lot to look at here. Not the same sort of um, posture. Four hour, um, four hour is um, got a four hour nine. That's maybe holding up price, but maybe it's just going to work its way back up. Um, did we look at Costco? Um, no, Costco. Um, yeah, Costco is playing with this trend line. Uh, let's look on the daily. Um, yeah, playing with this trend, I've played it a few times. I think if we keep doing this, we are gonna, we're just gonna come down. So definitely, some we've got to think about here. Um, anything TD to catch the price? Um, nothing, nothing really TD wise. So yeah, I'll potentially be looking at if we if we don't basically regain this trend line um, and regain um, regain this 200 daily. Um, this would be looking pretty bearish, but um, we could we could easily regain this 200 daily. I mean, you see a lot of the price action we had below it here, and then so if we're having a similar price action, we will gain it and then then basically get to the here. That's kind of what I would think with this asset, but could go down. If we do go down, we're going to do it soon because we are looking weak. Nikola is breaking out to the upside of its pennant, so that is inherently uh, bullish. Is it a fake out? Is it a bump and run? And um, we'll see. We'll have to watch. Keep an eye on this one. Just purely out of, just pure fascination, basically, as to what can go on. Obviously, we know we've got this to contend with, um, this weekly nine. Um, but yeah, having a little pop. Is it, has it got legs? I mean, can it take out its high? We will <laughs> that. We will see. Uh, Clorex. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Four hour nine. Um, <clears throat> nice for our nine, broke to the highs for our nine. Probably going to come back and test this, um, and then see if we can hold that. Um, see what we got on the daily. Um, but we potentially had some on the daily in twelve hour here, did we? Yeah, daily nine as well. So this one was um, this one was a uh, was a layup for a good a good um, trade. 
basically just your stop above here and it's doing pretty well risk reward trade that was great um and 12 hour um 12 hour nine as well same again 12 hour nine so this had all the nines so no wonder this um this asset decided to make a move down um it had the full force of the triple nines on on its case boyd gaming in its in its zone nice nine nine nice nine nice nine yeah basically nice hourly nine uh four hourly nine up here um let's have a look at the eight hour let's just um stop markets having a little bit of a of a tantrum at the moment so let's just, i want to have a look at the hourly time frame see if we can see if we're coming up on any potential um potential reversal point um no nothing really this guy i mean yeah so we're just looking at being supported by this horizontal and this trend line right so where were we let's have a look at oh t doc t doc look at you look at this um I did lose um, my healthcare. Basically, is a short in this um, in this environment. <clears throat> healthcare is a short, but obviously we are in interesting times, um, and this environment is spurred on by certain um, global health um, effects. So um, that obviously is potentially going to help these, even though they're not in the environment and they should go up in. So, but we have got a potential sell trade, and this would be an interesting sell trade, but. Um, this would be an interesting sell trade, I believe. But yeah, this is obviously something I was bullish of, but um, <clears throat> have subsequently um, vacated the healthcare sector. Um, but yeah, um, he's actually doing very well. Um, yeah, these <laughs> yeah very well, guys, basically. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so let's have a look at uh, Apple. Apple, uh, someone told me Apple's doing well. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. This is like Dave Portney's stonks, isn't it? Stonks. Look at that. Up, up, and up, and up. It's um, definitely there's no pill, blue pills needed in for this asset. Just guiding up by the twenty one. Just, it's just as bullish as you like. One at one point, this is going to have a big correction because this is the sort of um, if you understand market psychology and traders, they just buy, buy more, buy more, buy more, buy more, buy more, and they've got no reason to ever get out of these trades. But give them a reason to get out. There's a lot of people that are bought, 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 bought that need to then get out. So at some point, at some point, right. This is going to test the 200, um, <coughs> but I don't, um, I don't know when. I don't know how high, how high it'll be and where the 200 will be. Um, and I also, it's not even necessarily the case. I mean, we saw it here, look, all the way, all the way up, bang, test the 200. But it's just how it's how markets work. Staircase, ele um, elevator shaft, um, lots of buys, buys, buys. Everyone feeling secure and say, bang, stop run, stop run. Um, yeah, so that's sort of um, something and a market dynamic that is um, interesting for people to to understand amd just don't want to do nothing it kind of faked out <laughs> came all the way back and um, yeah <clears throat> maybe we just need to extend this then extend and pretend guys i mean just there you go it's done there we go and now um i mean we are obviously very mature in this um, formation if we are gonna um have some sort of a breakout basically when this does this is gonna go for it up or down um yeah up it's gonna go for it this is the one that's linked to bitcoin isn't it md is it is it is it for the bitcoin am i just making stuff up or is it there's, there's a, ch a microchip maker that follows bitcoin anyway um yeah i mean we're just waiting for a move we're not going to get anything td wise because we're not going anywhere maybe on the four hour but even that when you do get a nine on the four hour it's just like maybe just drift that's not even the greatest nine to play anyway right oh tilray I've not seen our little friend our little friend tilray so you dropped out of um tilway tilway dropped out of bed um we got some serious um seriously wonky lines here um tilray um so i'll just be looking for a back test and then a dump but i mean yeah it's looking looking bearish this is guys this is looking this is um yeah <laughs> i mean what what do you want to say about this this is bearish. I mean, yeah, at some point, I'm sure we'll have a bit of a pop. But, I mean, is this sector going to turn around? Is this company going to turn around? This sector may turn around, but this company in particular is not a good one in this sector. Just FYI. Uh, we'll look at one more thing. McDonald's. Here's a short that I was working on. A real estate-based short. Yeah, this is not not loving life. Um, not Just not making the same sort of gains the rest of the market is. Nearly had a two-day nine, as you just saw on that last one. Nine there, didn't do a lot. Popped above it was a buy. Um, eight, 12 hour. Yeah, yeah, 12 hour nine, didn't same as the daily, popped above it. We're going to have a, we got a day, we got, mm, yeah. 
Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Four hour nine. Four hour nine is my favorite. You guys know that. I, was, I, I will keep repeating it until you get fed up of hearing it. Four hour nine is my favorite. Once we break below, great trade. Here we go. Look, we don't trade. We don't basically close below. No trade. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, oh yeah, wow. While we're here, while we're here, Uber, <coughs> Uber. Got to delete this one because um, this is a crypto. <laughs> I'm wondering why I couldn't find um, find <laughs> options on it. <laughs> Uber. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Uber. Um, looking uh, looking not too good here. Not too hot. This is what happens when you lose your lose your nice. Um, let's go into the daily. This is what happens when you lose your nice 21. Um, bang, get whacked. And this is um, comes down. Basically, came down to the 200 day. But obviously, this is a different sort of posture on this 200 day. As you can see, um, it's not like a guide, not price. But uh, this is. I mean, if you want, if you want to buy this, buy this. Um, this uh, <coughs> for junk. Um, then um, yeah. Um, as good a time as any. Um, just have you stop. Um, wherever. <laughs> just tight. Have a tight stop. Um, potential tightening formation. Um, you can you can probably guess my fundamental views on this, but um, nothing TD wise to get me into a trade. Just a 200 day, but we tested this. Got had a very weak bounce. Tested it again, and sorry, four hour wait. Sorry, here we go. It's in the same place. Tested it. <coughs> had a weak bounce. The 21 rejected, and now I'd expect us to just uh, just to get flattened. And this is our this is our target here. This is our um, we got flattened target. Um, yeah, it's this was always the target anyway. From obviously here where we drew this line down to initially, but obviously we faked out, faked out back up. Um, so yeah, just to mess with your melons. Um, get rid of that arrowhead. Go away. <laughs> right. So this is the end of the. Vi oh, that's why. <laughs> This is the end of the video, guys. So remember, this is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, stock market's looking a bit weak here. No doubt going to drive Bitcoin down even further. Um, so yeah, um, I will um, speak to you guys. Yeah, not financial advice. Not financial advisor. Clearly, um, you know, financial advisors don't just sit at the desk wearing wearing vests, do they? Gym gear. But I'll um, speak to you guys later. So thanks for listening.